Hi, welcome back to the section of PIG. In this section, we'll be looking at how to write UDF for PIG in Java. Right? We know how to write UDFs for uh, Hive in Python as well as in Java. In this section, we'll write an UDF for PIG in Java. So, for uh, writing any Java code, we got to declare a package. So, I would declare a package here right and then I have uh, declared something like import Java IO exception we know that this is this is gonna throw some input output exceptions which might occur while execution of code I'm, I'm importing something called eval function which is in, internal to pig okay we'll see the usage of eval function uh, in this particular uh, code okay and then we have something called uh, pig data dot tuple okay this tuple is nothing but a data type in our earlier section of pig we have discussed wh what is this tuple data type so we are gonna use this particular tuple which is an internal data type specific to pig now let's go to this class called upper public class upper extends eval function yeah so it's a super class which accepts an data type I mean, which accepts an input of type string okay now I'm declaring a method called execute whose return type is of string okay it accepts an input of tuple okay and throws IO exception if uh, this particular uh, uh, record is not existing or a file is not existing and then if input is null or its size is zero then we will obviously return null or else if input is uh, not null what we are gonna do is first of all we'll get the input record and find the upper I mean we'll transform the entire string into uppercase and we'll return it okay the motive of this uh, ex section is to explain you how to execute an uh, Java written I mean uh, UDF written in Java in pig okay if there is something exception we'll throw an exception caught at row I mean which row we got exception we'll throw it yeah so this is the Java code we'll create a jar file out of it and then we'll take it to my home directory and we'll use it in uh, pig which will return me when we are executing it it will return me something called an uppercase of all the columns whichever we are passing it as an input to this particular jar file yeah first of all let's log in into pig shell yeah okay now I'm gonna create something like pig input udf dot txt. Okay, I'm gonna create a b c c d e e f g g h i. Okay, this is my input file. I'm gonna put this into Hadoop fs hyphen put file name into user training path okay I'm gonna load this a equal to load yeah uh, this particular user training okay using pig storage or, or else we don't need this because uh, we just have one uh, uh, one column I'm just putting as null as I'll just put name of charre yeah when I illustrate a I will get a sample record ABC or CD or EFC now I go I'm gonna register my jar file so whatever jar we had created it's nothing but my uh, I would say that it has okay let, let us create a jar file for this okay that would be better so okay so here I'll go here I'll just type in and export yeah Java jar file I'll put it in my desktop yeah upper dot jar yeah I'll type in enter finish okay so my jar file has been created now if I go to desktop 
I will have something like upper dot jar. I got to take this particular jar file into my home path. Yeah, I got my upper dot jar. So in my grunt shell, what I gonna do is uh, first of all I'll do something like register register my jar file, which is nothing but my home training upper dot jar. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me put a single course here. Okay. Now I've loaded my file. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is b equal to for each a. I'm gonna generate yeah upper upper class. For that I got to use my package name. So like we did for hive. Uh, um, we, um, we are doing the same way for your uh, for your pig as well package name dot your class name of uh, uh, of the field name what is my field name is name yeah for each a generate package name dot the method name uh, dot column name okay I've used it now I'm illustrating B see I've transformed the smaller case EFG into uppercase EFG if I dump my B I'll get the total records because I've done that using my UDF in pig I've written an UDF called upper that's my class name so before that I've used something called my package name if you could see here I've used my package name dot my class name and then the column name so before using that what did I do I have registered my jar file before I mean without when you register this jar file it will be saved into your RAM and it will be useful as long as your session is active once the session is inactive you got to freshly register your jar file okay this holds good for both hive and pig okay my uh, my produce is done and I got all my records in uppercase. I got ABC, CDE, EFG and GHI which I have printed as a small letter but I finally got the output in uppercase because I have written my UDF to convert this smaller case letters into uppercase letters. So this is how you write your UDFs in Java for pig. Hope you had enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.